I'm going to show you the three most important modeling techniques in Blender, especially if you're a beginner. I wish I would have known these things when I was just starting out. This would have saved me at least five years of learning about this. I'm going to first show you the first thing that you have to do every time you're starting a new project in Blender. This is extremely important. This is going to allow you to use a much more professional workflow. You're going to select your default cube and delete that. Then make sure that you're in object mode and you're going to go up here to the add menu. In the add menu, you will find a mesh section and here you're going to add a new cube. Another way to do this is to just press shift A. This is going to give you the same menu where you can also find the mesh section and here you can also add a cube. Now this is going to allow you to use a much more professional workflow and your models are going to improve significantly if you use this technique. Next, I'm going to give you another technique which I think might be even more important than this one. The second thing you have to know about modeling in Blender is that you should never use the default setup. Instead, you have to delete the cube that you got right here in the beginning, and you're going to use Shift A to add a new cylinder. Now you're going to press Tab to enter edit mode. With X, you're going to open the delete menu, and at the bottom of the delete menu, you're going to find an option called Collapse Edges and Faces. If you click that, all this geometry is going to be collapsed into a single vertex, and you can now use this vertex to create almost any type of shape that you want. So we're going to press 7 on the number pad to go to top view, then we're going to press G to move this vertex, Y to move it along the y-axis and we're going to hold down control to snap this by exactly one meter you can check how far you've moved in the top left corner over here you have to make sure that's set exactly to one then click to confirm this press g x to move this along the x-axis and also hold down control and move this by minus one meter to place it in this corner right here now press e to extrude hold down control and bring it over here to the other side you're going to extrude this by a total of two meters again you can see them in the top left corner over here click right here now select everything with a Press E to extrude, move this along the y-axis and hold control until you move this all the way to the other side. Now you have a plane. Now select this plane, press G to move this, Z to move this along the z-axis, and you're going to hold down control to move this down by exactly one meter. And now you're going to select everything with A, press E to extrude. And in this case, we have to extrude this by minus two meters since the normal of this face is pointing downwards. So we have to extrude this backwards in the negative direction. Once we've done that, you're going to select everything, press shift N to correct the normals. And now you got a cube and now you can use this to start modeling something in Blender. Again, this is much better than using the default cube. It's a much more professional way to do things. Now I'm going to show you the third and most important trick that you need to know if you're just starting out in Blender. If you don't know this, you might find it very difficult to find work as a 3D artist. And this is probably going to be one of the first things that they're going to ask you in an interview at a 3D studio. So with Shift A, we're going to add a new cylinder and now press Tab to enter edit mode. Select all the geometry with A. You're going to press S to scale this. And then while you're scaling it, you're going to press Shift Z to only scale this on the X and the Y axis without scaling on the Z axis. Then you're going to set the scale here to zero to make this infinitely thin. Click to confirm. And while everything is selected, press M and merge vertices by distance. Now you're going to go to top view with seven on the number pad again. G to move this and hold down control to snap it by the grid. You're going to move it into this top left corner, which you can see right here. Make sure to align it with these lines on the grid. Now you have to make sure that your 3D cursor is exactly in the middle. So press Shift S, cursor to world origin. Now go back to top view and now press Alt E. This is going to open a menu called extrude. In this menu, you're going to click on spin and then you're going to get a little spin menu down here the bottom left open that up set the number of steps to four and once you've done this you're going to use alt right click to select this edge loop at the top press f to fill that and do the same thing down here at the bottom and now you have a perfect cube and this is what you're going to use for your 3d models if you want to learn more pro tips like this then subscribe to the channel and if you need some more help with learning about 3d modeling i put everything that i know about modeling from the past 10 years in blender into my ebook so check that out the link is below everything is going to be explained in there and this type of tutorial is going to be a lot easier to follow also make sure to join our discord community Community. We got over 4,000 people in there. If you ever need any advice, just ask the community and they're going to take care of you. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.